Hi, I'm Rich Farago from Dynamic Drum Beaters. I'm the inventor of the Flex Beater. And the Flex Beater does what it says, it flexes. And why is that important? Well, the, the conventional drum beaters do not have any flexion. This is a standard beater. You can see that they don't flex at all. And in doing that, when you, when you hit with this, the vibration kind of goes into your hand. Um, and if you look at how a drumstick is made, the, well, by, just by the fact that they're wood, um, they, they flex, you can see that they flex. We, we don't want to hit the drums with something hard and rigid because we could hurt our tendons, they're very fragile. So are the tendons in our legs, in our cartilage, and our knees. Drummers end up with knee problems, hip problems, ankle problems, and that kind of got me thinking about why, you know, why is that happening? And which kind of brings us to the flex beater. It has just a little bit of flexion, kind of take the edge off the impact of when you hit. Especially people who feel have problems with their, their ankles, knees, and hips, it's a relief. And they're able to play more and uh, do things that they haven't been able to do. Having a knee injury myself, I said, well, I have to figure out a way to hit the drum hard without hurting myself. And I came up with this, uh, this, this coupling, which absorbs the impact, and it actually creates an upstroke. So this is the first upstroke on the bass drum without using the spring. You can actually try this without the spring to see the upstroke and um, you'll get an idea of it, although you need the spring to play. The feedback I'm getting from uh, pros that have this and that are using these prototypes is that they have more stamina, they're able to do things that they're not, maybe not as easy to do, so it takes the edge off, makes it a little easier. So we made a video to compare it so you could actually see the flexion work and I think you'll enjoy this. In developing the flex beater, really got inspiration from the drumstick. And you look at the drumstick and it, it flexes, really, it does, wood flexes. And we measure the wood in terms of weight, in terms of 2A, 2B, 5A, 5B, and so on. We all know that. But we don't measure bass drum beaters, do we? So why aren't we doing that? So that's the question, and we should be doing that. We should be measuring the weight. We should be saying, you know what? I like a 60 gram weight. I like an 80 gram weight. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. Let's start measuring our drum beaters and let's get the sizes that we like and work for us. This will help you have stamina. It'll help you with your health, uh, keep your joints healthy. And I think you're gonna really like it. And if you wanna be a better, healthier drummer, go for the Flex Beater.